All right, what's up guys? Now, last time I tried to do one of these videos, it did not go very well. I ended up promoting a PowerShell script called Windows Toolbox, which ended up being malware, and I had to make a video showing you guys how to uninstall it. The video spread like wildfire, and although it helped a lot of people out, I felt really bad that I promoted something to you guys that I thought would help, but it turned out the developer had malicious intentions. Fortunately, a lot of people commented on that video to check out some PowerShell scripts by a guy called Chris Titters Tech. So yeah, we're going to be trying out his PowerShell script in this video today, seeing what kind of optimizations that are in there, and hopefully that can help out people out there with low NPCs. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. I apologize about the audio quality, I have just moved out. So make sure you guys check out my shorts video and I'll be doing a setup tour very soon. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so to install this new Windows tool, we need to go over to their GitHub link. I'll leave the link to this in the description down below. Now this tool was not made by me, it was made by a YouTuber called Chris Titus Tech. I'll leave all his links in the description down below, he's a god. He made this tool, it's really good, and I'm gonna be showing it off in today's video. So to get this, what we need to do is just copy and paste this launch command into our PowerShell. So to open up PowerShell, just go to your start menu and just type in PowerShell like that. And make sure you run this as administrator. So right click on it, run as administrator. And then yeah, just copy and paste this launch command from the GitHub link into your PowerShell, press enter. And here we go, here is Chris Titter's text Windows Utility. So on the first section here, we've got an install section. So if you want to install something real quick, you can just go ahead and tick these boxes and press install. Loads of stuff to choose from here, from browsers to communication, development apps, multimedia tools, games, utilities, you name it, it's pretty much all here. Now this is the really cool feature of this script. We've got a tweak section here, and this is all the stuff you can use the script to do. So we've got essential tweaks here, like create a restore point, disable telemetry, Wi-Fi sense, activity and location tracking. And we've also got some miscellaneous tweaks here, like power throttling, numlock on startup, file extensions, all of this stuff here. Now the really cool thing about this is you can actually automatically select which ones you want. So if you've got a desktop here, it automatically selects some for you. If you've got a laptop, it will change the setting suggestion based on what you select up here. And if you just want a minimal setup, press that and it will just do a couple of the essential tweaks. Once you've selected the ones you want to try, just press run tweaks. So you can see all of the stuff that it's doing here. And then when it's done, it will just tell you. There you go, tweaks are finished. So yeah, I think this would be really good for people with low NPCs out there. You can select what kind of selection you want, run the tweaks, and it should really help you guys out. We've also got a config section over here, so you can install features like Net Framework, Legacy Media, Network File System, and the Windows Subsystem for Linux. You can install these features here. You can also reset Windows Update, and there's also some legacy stuff here, so we can just press that. And we've got a nice quick little shortcut to the control panel. Same with network selections, power plan. Now we've got the update section, which is really interesting. So what you can do here is you can disable Windows updates. Windows is notorious for having random updates pop up and uh, start installing while you're doing something important. So this stops that. So what you can do is by default, you're obviously on this. You can set it to do only recommended security updates. This is probably the best option because you obviously want security updates to keep your computer safe from malware and viruses, but you don't essentially want the new features and all of the other stuff that comes with the Windows updates because they can make the file size huge, take up system resources, and they can also slow your internet right down when they're downloading. So security updates is what I would probably recommend. You can get Windows security updates. They're not very big updates and you can just continue on your computer as normal. And if you're just sick of updates in general, you can disable all updates by pressing here. It's not recommended you do this. Obviously security updates would be the recommended, but if you don't and you wanna live life on the edge, then you can press that here. So yeah, this is a cool little tool from Chris Titus Tech. I'll leave the link to it in the description down below. Another script that I always find myself using is the classic Windows 10 debloater. I think I've used this in one of my videos before, but I'll show it off anyway. So yeah, just search Windows 10 debloater online and this should come up. If not, I'll leave the link to this in the description. And again, it is a GitHub link. Once you've got the zip, just extract it to wherever. I'm just going to extract it to the desktop. Double click on the folder. 
And then, yeah, I'm going to run Windows 10 Debloater GUI. Right click on it, run with PowerShell. And here we go. Here is Windows 10 Debloater. It's really easy to use and it's got some really nice features in it. So the first thing is remove all bloatware. Just click on that and all the pre-installed bloatware that comes with Windows 10 should be removed. You can also remove bloatware with a custom block list as well. I've just pressed that and uh, since I'm running Windows LTSC, nothing, <laughs> nothing has been removed. You can also revert registry changes if you mess anything up. You can enable and disable Cortana, which again, I don't have on this version of Windows. You can disable Edge opening up PDFs by default. You can enable and disable Dark Mode, which is really cool. You can also uninstall OneDrive, which does get in the way in the File Explorer if you don't use it. You can unpin tiles from Start Menu. So for some of you, your Windows taskbar might look like this. You might have loads of tiles and stuff here. That'll get rid of them all and it'll just be a nice list like I've got here. And one really cool one is you can disable telemetry and tasks, which in my testing has worked really well. You can remove the bloatware reg keys so they don't come back in a later Windows update. And you can install .NET 3.5. So yeah, it's a pretty simple, minimalistic Windows 10 script. But yeah, I swear by this. If you install Windows 10 Home or Professional on any computer that won't run well, just use this and uh, it can save you a lot of headaches. The next script we're going to be trying out is not really a script. Well, it kind of is, but it's very difficult to install. So fortunately, there is an app version of this called Sophia App. So yeah, I'll leave the link to this in the description down below. So yeah, you just go ahead and download it. I've got it here and then you just open it up just like a regular app, so .exe, and this is what it looks like when it's opened up. I really do like the menu on this, it looks really cool. Now, it probably will come up with this message if you've ran Windows 10 Debloater. Obviously, use this or use any of these scripts at your own risk, so yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and select that. And yeah, this is what it looks like. So we've got a privacy section here, and every single thing has an explanation. So if you hover over it, it will tell you in this little box here what it does which is really good. So yeah, just basically uncheck most of these boxes unless you want that. And it'll explain them, like I said, in this box what they are. But yeah, we've got some pretty cool telemetry uh, settings here that we can disable, which is really good. We've also got some personalization options here for this PC. So just general stuff like hidden files and folders, file name extensions, file explorer settings and it's just all good just to have in one program rather than having to sift through all the various settings within windows because they're really hard to find you can just enable them with one click using this program and once again we can enable dark and light mode which is really cool and yeah there's just so many settings in here i'm not going to go through all of them you guys can check this out and have a look for yourself we've got some system settings here so we can disable temporary files that aren't used by apps we can enable and disable hibernate we can choose our power plan as well here so we don't even need to use the control panel to select that we've got storage sense here which will help clear out our disk if we're getting low on space and yeah there's just so much stuff in here we can uninstall onedrive install c++ visual we can also uninstall uwp apps here i don't have any but if you do you can just select them here and delete them we've got games as well here so we can enable and disable the xbox game bar hardware accelerated gpu scheduling we've got schedules tasks here so we can open up task scheduler right from the script you can also clean up your temp files windows update downloads folder we've got some security stuff in here as well and yeah just uh theme settings and stuff like that here things and stuff like that here so yeah this is not as i said this is so as i said this isn't technically a script but it is based off of a script this is just the app version of it loads of features in here like i said that i'm not going to go all through but yeah i'd highly recommend checking this one out some really good stuff in here so yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Just a quick one this week, just going through Windows scripts and just trying to put things right after that last disaster with Windows Toolbox. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and let me know in the comments if you want to see me bring out a potential Windows optimization script or optimization program in the near future. Something I could definitely look into doing, you know, if you want things done right, do it yourself. So, uh... Could definitely look into getting one of them made if you guys want to see that. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.